to Linda's Pantry. Today I get to bring you along for a requested recipe. Um, my friend Sal over at Root Boy Cooks, and I'll leave the link to his channel down in the description box, has asked me if I would go ahead and make my apple beer barbecue sauce that I made a while back and I had planned to make a video on it, and so today's the day. And so thanks, Sal, for reminding me because this barbecue sauce is one of my very, very favorites. It is so delicious on pork and chicken. So if it inspires you to stay with me, go check out all the links, including Sal's link to his channel. And um, I've got my Wild Tree website. You can go sign up for Zacon Foods so they can notify you of an event in your area to save you some money on bulk meats. And um, my Facebook page, go say hi. And if you make anything like this, or you make this sauce, go tell me about it on Facebook and maybe show me a picture. All right, guys, let's go make a delicious apple beer. So I've got our ingredients sauce. together and I'm gonna make quite a bit of this. Um, might as well make it and you can actually can this. Um, it's pretty simple to do. There's enough acid in this that it cans very well. So I've got a cup of packed brown sugar. I've got a, about a quarter of a yellow onion. I've got uh, four big cloves of garlic. I just roughly chopped this stuff because I am going to take the immersion blender to all of it after it's cooked. I've got a tablespoon and a half of butter in my pan here and I'm going to start off by sauteing the garlic, the onion, and the apple in the butter until they are soft and translucent for the onion, soft for the apples. And these are honey crisp apples, two small ones, um, salt and pepper, an apple beer, um, apple ale, and you can, there's a couple places that have the, or a couple different brands that carry an apple. I've got some red pepper flakes, some apple wood liquid smoke. And this is key in this. If you don't want to use this, I mean, it's not going to taste the same. Some apple cider vinegar, some organic ketchup, and all the spices in the ketchup really finish everything off. And then, of course, salt and pepper. So let's get over to the stove and we'll get to making I've this. I've got my butter melted here. I'm going to go ahead and put my apples in. And, oh, that smells good right there. <laughs> and then, of course, my garlic and my onion. And I did forget one ingredient over there on the counter, so I'm going to get that out while this is sauteing down, and that would be onion powder. You want two different layers of that onion flavor. It goes delicious in this barbecue sauce. And we don't want to leave it out. And this pan is a three-quart little uh, cast iron pan, so that'll give you an idea of how, how much I'm making. And I plan on filling this to the top before it goes. Now that the um, onions and the apples have cooked down and they're actually starting to caramelize, that's right at the point you want to go ahead, add your other spices that you're going to put in. I'm going to put in a tablespoon, light tablespoon, of red pepper flakes to give it some heat. Got to have heat. Sweet and heat go together. And then we want a tablespoon of the onion powder, your cup of packed brown sugar, okay? And that sugar is gonna liquefy along with everything else. It's gonna be fantastic. Go ahead and add your beer in too. That'll do any deglazing and that's one whole beer. And if you're making less sauce, you can do a little less and have a drink yourself. <laughs> I've got some apple cider vinegar, and this is the organic Bragg's. I want a tablespoon of that in there. Whoop, a little over a tablespoon. <laughs> and you can adjust this to your taste, obviously, but um, this is how we like it. And I've already ground off the pepper in the cap here that comes off. So I've got about, let's see, a teaspoon of coarsely cracked pepper. We're gonna add some Himalayan pink salt to the mix here. And then I'll measure out the ketchup for you. Um, so you have an exact recipe. Hopefully you're writing it down. And we are gonna put in a tablespoon of this uh, liquid smoke, apple wood. And that is delicious. If you um, 
don't have a way to smoke your apples, this is a good alternative. And the last time I made this, a couple weeks ago, I did put the apples on the smoker and put some smoke on them and softened them that way. And it was fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and start measuring our ketchup out. And this is going to come up to a boil, and then I'll let it simmer and let it reduce and get to the thickness we like. So here's one cup. Oops. It's going to take a lot of ketchup. But the ketchup has cloves and all those spices that just make this come together. It's delicious. And how easy is this? I mean, make your own barbecue sauce. You know what's in there. You can buy all natural organic ingredients. Um, you can have it be no high fructose corn syrup. You can have all those things that you want for your family. Because you did it yourself for there's five five cups of ketchup. Okay. I think that's right where I want it. Five cups of ketchup. You know what? Maybe just a little bit more. I really want a little bit. Five and a half cups. And that ought to do it. And then that way. We'll have enough to use on our dinner tonight, and the rest can go in. You could keep this in the refrigerator for quite some time. Everything is pretty much shelf stable um, in the refrigerator. So, um, you know, for a couple weeks. Or, like I said, water bath can it. And I would water bath can this for 15 minutes, let it sit in the canner for five after you've turned it off, and. Um, in your clean jars, sterile jars. Anyway, so we're gonna bring this up to a boil, reduce it down till we get the thickness that we like, and uh, I'm gonna bring you back when we've got something else to show you. So I'm doing good. I forgot to tell you that you needed to put in uh, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, so I've got the Worcestershire sauce in there, and um, that gives it a little bit deeper color. And I also felt like it needed some more pepper, so I added another teaspoon and a half of fresh ground pepper because you really want that peppery background with this. It just makes it fabulous. So we've got it to where we've got that simmer around the edge going, and we're just going to let this reduce down and until um, it's a little bit thicker. It's still a little runny. So when it gets to the thickness we want, and I'm ready to jar to it up, I'll bring it. Oh, look how thick. That's nice. Um, it's going to thicken up after we blend it with the stick blender or an immersion blender. So I'm going to do that. It's kind of loud. I've turned my burner off because I'm done reducing it to get it nice and thick. And now I just want to do that. And then we're going to jar it up, and I am going to can it. So you guys are coming along for a canning video. All right, so we're done, and this is just absolutely beautiful. I've got my jars cleaned, um, sanitized in the dishwasher cycle, and then I go ahead and let them soak in hot water in the sink, and I use uh, boiling water from my kettle. I also then soften the um, lids in, in hot water. I want to taste this before I jar it, and when I use this in a video, I'll make sure you know. And you guys can, so, it, the apples just thicken it up perfectly, too. So, here's what pretty color that is. Isn't that nice? And it's still pretty hot. Mmm. <laughs> it's got a great mouthfeel. There's a little texture in there because of the apples, and then you get that pepper, that black pepper, and then the apple. It's absolutely wonderful. And it's sweet, and it's tangy. It's got a really nice tang to it. So it's excellent on pork, chicken. Uh, it actually makes a great pizza sauce if you're going to do a barbecue, barbecue chicken pizza. It's fantastic. So I've got my clean jar. I'm going to go ahead and jar this up. We're going to water bath can this for 15 full minutes after it gets to a rolling boil. Uh, and then we're going to let it sit in the canner for another five after that, but this has got a pretty good amount of acid. You're going to load these jars up to a quarter of an inch of head space, and I always have a second jar ready to go, and 
while I'm waiting, go ahead and get some hot liquid in there. Then we're gonna switch things around a little bit and we're gonna wipe the rim of my jar off so you guys can see that. Um, this toweling is dipped in white vinegar and you're gonna go ahead, wipe that rim. Always inspect your jars before you wash them. Even if you've washed them and inspected them and washed them again, inspect them again because sometimes you'll get a crack or a chip and your jar won't hold the seal or it won't seal at all. Finger tight and this one goes in the canner to wait. For okay, the so ones. that little pan must be a two quart saucepan because that did not make close to three quarts but it made close to two. It's uh, One jar isn't quite full, but I'm going to go ahead and process it anyway because we're not using the sauce today. And then that way it's shelf stable for however long I need it. And so four pints and for very little effort, and I know all the ingredients, and it's absolutely delicious. So uh, let's get this canning. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'll show you so the end, the end result is what we've got right there, and that's a beautiful amount of barbecue sauce for very little effort. Top quality ingredients, I used organic ketchup. I, I really tried to make this as wholesome as possible, and so uh, the apples in here, well, wholesome, I guess that's not the word because of the beer, <laughs> but <laughs> um, it does take this to another level. So I will say that. The alcohol cooks off. Um, I simmered that for about 30 minutes until it got thick and because um, we really want this a thick type of barbecue sauce. There's some that I like thinner, but this one I like on the thick side. So I hope it inspires you to come back and see what I do next time and maybe see what I do with this barbecue sauce because we're going to use this in a few recipes as you can see. We're going to have this on the shelf. I went ahead and water bath canned that for 15 minutes, a full 15 minutes of boiling water. And I double checked in the ball canning book and everything I could read. It was 15, 20, depending on the ingredients. One was even 35 minutes, but it had a bunch of extra vegetables in there. And um, this really uh, has enough acid between the sugar and the apples, the sugar that I put in there, the vinegar. Um, the apples had lemon juice on them, and so I feel absolutely fabulous about this canning session. And so I'm super excited. I can't wait to see you next time. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit subscribe. Go over to uh, my YouTube channel and search for recipes that you might be looking for and see what I got going on, because there's almost 900 videos over there. All right, guys. Okay, Sal, I hope you like this. <laughs> Bye.